Let's say now that we know the truth and that we know that they lied to us, not just the U.S. government, but the U.S. news media. Glenn Greenwald has seen stories like this very, very up close and personal. He's the host of System Update on Rumble. He broke, of course, the most famous leaking story in American history, the story of Ed Snowden, who joins us tonight. Glenn, thanks so much for coming on. I, sh I should say, and I don't know, just be quiet and let you speak, since you know this better than anyone, but we left out a lot of de details that are being reported in the Washington Post, the New York Times, et cetera, tonight about the leaker and where this all came from. Because honestly, I don't believe anything. And it's very hard to know what's true. We're all being spun. We're all being lied to. And we just didn't want to repeat the lies. So with that, what do you make of this? I can't think of an incident, Tucker, that reveals more vividly the real function of our nation's largest media corporations than what just happened here. If you're a real journalist, somebody who's devoted to transparency, bringing, shining a light on the most powerful government actors when they lie to the American people and informing the public, you would be celebrating this person who stepped forward and risked his security to show his fellow citizens that the government was lying about this incredibly important war with a nuclear armed power that we have actual troops deployed on the ground in Ukraine. There's going to be no diplomatic resolution through at least 2023 that Zelensky is planning on using our weapons to strike deep into Russia, which we were told would never happen, risking escalation. He did the job of what journalists claim to do, which is show the public the truth. If you work for the intelligence agencies, you would be furious at this person. You would hate him because he revealed that you just lied. He exposed the truth about what you were doing. What's amazing is the New York Times, the Washington Post, all the people who were at that Pentagon briefing today think the way the CIA and the Pentagon think. They hate this person. It was the New York Times, the Washington Post, that did the FBI's work and found the leaker and led the FBI to him. They're demanding that he be punished. They're demanding that the government clamp down and keep things more and more secret. What kind of journalist would ever do that, would want to see a leaker exposed and punished and then demand that the government keep even more secrets? But that is what this, these, these media corporations are there to do. They love leaks when the CIA and Hellman Security tell them to leak. That's when they disseminate propaganda to the public, like they did during the Trump years when they leaked the transcript between Michael Flynn and Ambassador Kislyak, the most serious kind of leaking crime. The Washington Post did that. Nobody looked for that leaker. Nobody cared. Everybody cheered because it served the interests of the security state. But when it comes to transparency that undermines the agenda of these agencies and that proves to the American people what the truth is, it's amazing that these journalists are on the side of the government and will actually hunt down the leaker and demand that he be punished even more. I just don't understand how any journalist could collaborate in hiding the fact that we're in a direct hot war with Russia. Maybe you support that, maybe you don't. But how could you hide something that significant, the most significant fact of our generation, from the public? How could you do that? It, the only answer is that you don't actually have a journalistic mindset, that you far more identify with your, with your job as working for the government than working for the American people. If you look at the history of the most important journalism stories, it's exactly insiders like Daniel Ellsberg sees that the government is lying to the American people about the war in Vietnam, saying we're winning, when in reality, privately, they're saying we're losing, and he goes and he shows the, the, the American people the truth. Or Edward Snowden, who heard James Clapper, falsely deny the NSA was spying on American people, and he had the evidence in his hand, and he risked his security to show the truth. Same thing WikiLeaks did. This is what you celebrate in journalism. Our journalists, meaning the media corporations, hate this because they actually work for their government. That is their true allegiance. You have to defend truth tellers. You cannot abet lying if you have an entire country based on lies. It just does not end well. You have to tell the truth, uh, I think. You're certainly a living example of that. Glenn Greenwald, thank you very much. Thanks, Tucker.